What's going on guys? We're back here again today. Welcome back to the channel, Savage Panda Projects, the Habitat for Horsepower. So on today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this super sneaky exhaust mod we just completed on our Miltech exhaust for the Project A3. Without further ado, let's get started. setting off here today in our project a3 guys for anybody new to the channel welcome thank you so much for stopping in be sure to hit that subscribe button we've got a great library of automotive content so as far as what we're getting into on our topic for today's video you guys saw recently I had posted on Instagram just a little bit of a teaser there as far as the modifications we just made to this Miltech catback exhaust system what we actually did was we went ahead and dropped the rear suitcase muffler on this exhaust and we actually cut the entire box open to take a look at what's inside I'll be sure to go ahead and leave a couple pictures up here so you can kind of see everything as far as the before and after and looking at the modifications that we made to the exhaust system so it's no secret the Miltech is definitely a very quiet subtle exhaust nothing too in your face it's very much a muted tone which for me as a car enthusiast a lot of you guys ask all the time what's a good exhaust system for these cars the miltech is very very quiet and subtle the miltech just really does not have a whole lot of tone So the purpose of cutting open the muffler, taking a look at the exact configuration as far as all the chambers and the material inside the exhaust, we wanted to see what we could do to open things up and get more tone. So guys, as far as actually dissecting this rear suitcase muffler from Miltech, you can see it basically, it, it comes in from that mid pipe section and it goes into this little perforated dead pipe tube inside the suitcase. And you can see on the sides, it's very densely packed with this fiberglass material. The purpose of course being to cut down on rasp and drone just to prevent the four cylinder exhaust noise from just getting too rowdy. So if you take a look at the exhaust configuration where that center dead pipe runs into the body of the muffler, you basically have two little chambers and on either side you have a good amount of packing material. So what we actually did was after cutting into the muffler, we basically removed those two chambers and we actually pushed them further to the outer edge of the muffler, if that makes sense. And again, I'll go ahead and leave a couple pictures, a few clips so you can kind of see exactly what that process looks like. So very much an experimental test with this type of mod. You just never know what you're gonna find when you cut open a muffler. So the concept is very simple for this modification. Again, we've relocated those exhaust chambers. We've pushed them further out to the edges of the suitcase body, and we've removed a lot of that packing material. Now, some people might say, why would you take the packing material out? We wanted to open up the tone of the exhaust. And you can tell, again, just from the inside of the car that we have enhanced the growl. You gotta get some pops and bangs in there, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, so hilarious, man. As you can tell, just from the inside of the car, we do have more tone. We've opened things up a little bit with this modification. More of a pronounced growl, not overbearing. I really don't notice any additional rasp or drone, because you gotta keep in mind, we're dealing with a very large suitcase muffler you guys have seen in other videos i've talked about the borla we did that whole experiment and you get that horrific that beehive raspiness that is just absolutely horrendous So a lot of you guys ask questions about exhaust. What should I do? What's the best way to go about it? It's all about personal preference and what really sounds good to your ears. So for me guys, this was a fun experimental modification, nothing too crazy. Let me know in the comment section down below, what exhaust are you running? How does it sound? Always curious to hear your thoughts. 
So guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe for more. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.